Okay, we're back. Is this better? It looks like it might be better. Canticles, what of Thrinadides? The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the Deep Roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. May even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Okay, cool. If I hit escape now, is this something going to mess up? No, it just wouldn't even let me do it. And the dialogue's a little too loud. I'll fix it later. Um. Okay. So, there's a moment in there where someone shoots an arrow and it just barely misses their ally and they, that second person gives a look back to the person who shot the arrow like, you know, what are you doing? It's also in the Critical Role intro. I wonder if that's where they got it from. Maybe it's just a cliche thing. Anyway, so the plot of this game, or a big part of it, is that the mages are sort of... You know, they're like mutants or whatever. They're feared because of their powers. So I want to be a mage. And... Oh! Hey, Snow. Yeah, um, not really, but we're doing this. 
Uh, so, I want to be a mage, and I want to be a male because I know that there's a hot female character, and she will only romance men, so we'll do that. Now, and I also know that in this game, it's an interesting uh twist on classic fantasy the elves are the oppressed people uh, they are the ones who are discriminated against unlike most fantasy where they're like the people off by themselves and think they're above everyone else in this game they're subjugated so I'll play as them because I want to be as oppressed as possible that's my tourism uh, so... Yeah, man, elf. Great, okay. And warrior, mage, rogue, I said mage. And... Okay, that means I can only have this one particular background. All right. Greetings. I don't know what's happening. Hmm. All right. I'm not going to do too much with this. Let's see what we got in voices, first of all. I have lost concentration. No. How do you do? Maybe. Greetings. Mm. Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure. No, no, no. Greetings. Hmm. How do you do? Right. Casting. Focus. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. My weapon isn't working. Greetings. Blast it! I have lost the spell. This weapon does nothing! Greetings. Oh, my spell! My weapon does nothing. Hmm. To be fair, who's going to sound good saying lines that are like, Oh, I fucked up. Greetings. How do you do? Right. Casting. Focus. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. Well, this is odd. My weapon is useless. Greetings. All right, we're going to go with that. Uh... Whatever, I don't really care. Do we have... What do we have here? Uh, no. Hmm. Hmm. No, oh my God. Okay, let's do hair. I can deal with hair. I can't deal with, like, making the exact contours of the nose and exact certain way but I can do I can deal with hairstyles can I move him around hey, whoop whoop oh I didn't mean to do that huh definitely not We'll be here for the next three hours, strap in. All right, bald, no. For an elf, I think that looks really weird. Little hair. Hmm, I mean, that's what I have in real life, but it's really not too inspiring. Balding, no. Balding on the side, no. This is also kind of boring. I don't love my options, honestly. This might be okay. Yeah. 
I don't like this like parted look and then Ichi's it's like parted with more hair in the middle it's not changing the fact that I don't like the part parted with weird bangs that's kind of reasonable I don't know about this thing in the back, though. Not that I'm going to see it, but just knowing I have that. I think I might go with a nice tight ponytail. Let me just make sure. Or I could have the little one. Maybe. None of these, none of these. I'm comparing it to... It's kind of classy. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Little ponytail. Okay. What about color? This is going to be easier to... Something's going to jump out of me right away. Let's do the eye color first. What do I want? Ooh. I like yeah let's let's do a green I think that's good so now what's gonna go with that that could be a ginger and be even more discriminated against I'm going to change this hair again. Just all these looks are all bland. I don't know. All right. Maybe if I stick with this, I change the eye color. Maybe we'll get something. is kind of pretty what is this yeah you know what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that okay tattoo tattoo where no 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 well I'll look at them but I highly doubt it Oh, skin tone. Uh, all right, all right. I'm going to go quick. I'm going to go quick. Complexion, all right. That's more realistic than this totally blemishless one. Although I am an elf. So, in a sense, I should be kind of perfect looking. This has a little more character, though. Yeah, let's do that. Tone. Go somewhere in the middle. Let's 
fine. Now, tattoo. I wonder, would I be more discriminative against if I have a big tattoo on my face, or is no one going to care? Probably no one's going to care. No tattoo. Hair. We did that, eyes, we did that. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, look at this guy, he's kind of sly. Yeah, you know what? This is what I need to make my guy less of a dork. I need this eye shape. This is perfect. Nose, whatever, mouth. It's fine. Fine, fine. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Let's just, I guess we shove a little off to the side. Oh my God, why do I have so many, how does this matter? Whatever that expression. Okay. Whoop. Oh, I'm happy. Uh, no, 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 none of this. None, whoa, that's interesting. No, none of this stupid DreamWorks face. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I probably should have thought about this, huh? I probably should have looked something up. Uh, willpower. Ooh, I need to add the mod that... Uh, I forgot to add the mod that makes the fucking text readable. Willpower, increase my mana pool. Magic. All right. I think the things I'm going to care about are willpower and magic because willpower is going to be how much I can cast and magic is going to be, you know, how good the stuff I cast is. So until I look this up, I'm just going to go two to willpower, three to magic. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Ooh, but talking to talking to people you know what as weird as it is I want to be good at talking to people I want to have all the conversation options available so I'm just going to go for that I'm going to make a run for that Sixteen cunning, which is what I have, and that's all I'm gonna need all game. I'll never increase that again, but for now I'll just do it. That's all the points I get. Alright, whatever. I'm committing to this. Okay, now I can do magic stuff. So flame blast. Rock armor. Nah, I'm not gonna need that. Winter's grasp. That's good. That's good. I'm going to want control stuff. Creation heal. Mm, I could use potions. Boost my... Uh, I'd just freeze them. Paralysis. That's probably good. Boost my own spell power. In the shield. No. Mana drain. Probably not going to be facing spellcasters till later. Walking bomb. Nah. 
Mind Blast, which is a stun. That's good. Weakness. Maybe. Wow, I have a whole bunch of stun options. All right, all right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, drain life. And that'll sort of serve the purpose both of being an offense and being a heal. And I'm going to take the, uh, the Winter's Grasp is like a status effect. I don't know which is better. I don't know if freezing someone is better than... Uh, mind blasting them is better than disorienting them. I have no idea. I guess I could look real quick. Activation 20. I don't know what that means. Cool down 10 seconds. 20 cool down 30 seconds. So that's worse. 20 cool down 8. Oh, okay. Okay. So this sounds better because the cool down's really short. All right. We're doing it. I'm going to play on normal at first. I think that might eventually be a little too easy because one of the mods I do have is the extra dog slot. So when I get a dog, which is something that happens in this game, usually you have to choose between do you want the dog to be a member of the party, which is not, you know, smart because uh, your other companions are more powerful than a dog. So what happens in the basic game is that eventually you stop using your dog because it's not worth it to bring him along. But in this, with this mod, the dog doesn't count as a member of the party. So I am going to have a dog fighting where I normally wouldn't be able to do that. And that might make the game a little easy, but since I have no idea what I'm doing, I don't think that's going to be a problem until I, at least until I learn how to play this game. So that should be fine. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinter Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. Oh, I'm doing stuff. Okay. Uh... Is I am ready. Is there any other option? <laughs> What happens if I cannot defeat the demon? I think I know the answer to that one. And I think I know the answer to, is there any other option? But I'm going to say it anyway. There is tranquility. Is losing all your magic an option? No. I have faith that you will succeed. Know this, apprentice. If you fail, we Templars will perform our duty. You will die. This is Lyrium. The very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire, 
As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. I'm pretty sure they don't know, care, or give a shit if I'm ready, but we're doing this. All right. Use the mouse wheel to bring your camera down to... Whoop. While paused, you can issue orders to your character. Right-click on your desired destination. Your character now has a move order. You can issue orders in real time or, or while paused. Press space to unpause now. Oh my god, I'm running over there. How exciting. And I got combat music. And I got a million things to read. Okay. First, I'm going to turn down the dialogue volume. Then I'm going to see what just happened over here. Oh, okay. This is a DLC. I'm not going to worry about that till I get past the tutorial. Survive the harrowing. Uh, defeat the demons. Yeah, okay. I knew that. All right. Let's see what we get out of this codex. The Harrowing! This is how you become an apprentice. Of those who fail, nothing is known. Perhaps they are sent in disgrace. Perhaps they are killed on the spot. I, I could have sworn the guy just explicitly told me that he would kill me if I failed. Failed apprentices were transformed into pigs, fattened up, and served at dinner. Nah, nah, nah. I don't think any of that is true. It seems clear that if you fail this you get possessed by a demon so they kill you very simple moving on okay so one of those clowns we just saw is Grigar and he's a Templar which is like the Crusaders they're the military religious people and the other one is first enchanter Irving nice high fantasy name there and he's a magician. Okay. Moving on. Credits, great. Credits, great. All right. Cool stories. Alright, so what? Okay. So this is going to be a thing I have to fight here. And this is Arcane Bolt. So that's going to be my main thing, I imagine. Let's do that. Uh, does he keep doing it if I... Nope, sure doesn't look like it. Okay. Moving on. Oh, gosh, okay. 
Uh, this is annoying. I can't. How do I change my angle? Oop, oop, like this? Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Two of these dudes. Uh, what if we drain life? I knew we could not lose. Okay, I still don't really know what I'm doing. Okay. At least when I get hurt, I seem to heal pretty quick, so that's good. Oh, I oh I need to. Okay, while my one thing is cooling down, I need to do something else that's extremely illogical, I must admit. Yep, okay. Uh, let's go in the spooky tunnel. That sounds great. Oh, it's not a tunnel. It's just a... Okay. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. Is this the Fade? That seems like a stupid question. You're, you're a talking rat. Um, also a stupid statement, but it does kind of address the uh, main issue. I'm going to say that. You're a talking rat. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well... Mouse. Not your real name, I take it. You took the harrowing. You can change your shame. Alright, let's start off slow. Not that I care what this guy's name is, but... No. I don't remember anything from... before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. Okay, what am I supposed to do? How long do I have exactly? It's not going to happen to me. I'm sorry for... Okay, the most useful thing I think I could ask him is how long do I have? I don't remember. I ran away and I hid. I don't know how long. What am I supposed to do? That's not going to happen to me. I'm sorry for what happened. Well, I guess if I want this guy to be nice for, to me, I'll tell him I'm sorry. Don't waste time with that talk. You don't want to end up like this. There's something here contained just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. Anything can die. I doubt it's as simple as that. Why pit me against such a creature? I don't understand why this test is so feared. Anything can die. I doubt it's as simple as that. What does that mean? Um, I'm going to say that. Not really sure what I'm saying, but I'm going to say it. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you... You may have a way out. A dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. OK. 
Okay, did I get something new here? A wisp, okay, so these are the... Those are things I have been fighting so far, which is fine. I don't do much. Obviously, I'm about to fight something tougher than that. Hmm. What's going on over that is here? Where the test will take place. Oh. The creature can be anywhere, but it manifests there. Oh. Here's the mouse. Okay. So I'm not meant to be here yet. Oh, what is this? Okay, it's a rare substance. It's the stuff of creation from which the maker fashioned the world. Okay. So it is a physical thing that dwarves mine. But it's also like what the world is made of and what you do magic out of kind of weird okay and it's dangerous a little less so for dwarves more so for mages which is what i am so this is a terrible idea what i'm doing right now although this might all be like mind stuff. Like I, I might not have any real physical effects. You know, it's like I'm not sure that this can physically affect me because this is like the this is like my mind palace or whatever. Uh, it's it's valuable. Do you use it to construct things, to make armor? Wow, this, I mean, this one thing is like everything. You use it for magic, you use it for weapons. You... Hmm. But it's addictive. All right, there's a lot going on here. I'm sure it'll all be explained further. I'm not supposed to be here right now, so I'll go this way. Hey, here's a bad guy. I guess I'm not in range yet. Oh, it pauses when I'm in range. That's good. Yes. Uh, what are my other things here? Drain life. Drain life in winter's grass, right, okay. And this is make a potion. I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. Whoop, I'm coming up on the whoop. Is this him? Oh there it there he is. Hit him with the Hello. Okay. All right. Now I hit him at number two. There we go. All right. That's more like how you do it. You don't just do one thing and wait for it to recharge. Another spirit. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn. I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill and to be sent unarmed against a demon. Yeah, but that would kill me in real life, whereas this... Anyway, fight each other, we're not warriors. 
I don't think this guy's going to like that answer because it seems like he is a warrior. I agree, but I have a choice. You know why I'm here? Let's say that. You are not the first sent here for such testing, nor shall you be the last, I suspect. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. I have not yet defeated my hunter. So that's interesting. Something is hunting me. I thought I was here hunting something. That's actually very interesting. I need your help. What kind of spirit are you? What else do you know about the Harry? Did you create all these weapons? What does that mean? Ah, let's ask him what he knows about the harrowing. That's my main concern is that right now. What your test is called? I know little of your mortal ways. I do know that a demon has been called, and told that a meal awaits. It will not, cannot leave, until one of you is dead. Well, maybe he can kill Mouse. Okay, what kind of spirit are you? I am Valor. A warrior spirit. I hone my weapons in search oh. of a perfect expression of combat. There's his weapons. They look like 2008 pixels. I mean, I feel like he just said this. They are but... brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Damn right. Those mortals who cannot must lead such hollow empty lives pretty much without a doubt in this realm everything that exists is the expression of a thought do you think these blades be steel the staves be wood do you believe they draw blood a weapon is a single need for battle and my will makes that need reality do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. I feel like I don't need to fight this guy for a weapon when I'm a magic user. I guess I'll ask him what the rules are, but this doesn't seem like something I'm gonna be interested in if pursuing. If I believe you capable of slaying the demon, I will stop the duel and give you the star. If I find you unworthy, I will slay you. I trust those rules are simple enough to remember, mortal. Alright, well I don't want to agree to it. And I feel like he's the type of person where if I chicken out, he's not going to like that either. So let me try the third option. How dare you accuse me? I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. Then prove it. Help me fight the demon. Oh, okay. I might be able to flip the script on this guy. Yeah, let me try that. You are insolent. But your will is unquestionably strong. Very well, mortal. You prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Seriously? No, I didn't do anything. Prove your worth as you must. I am confident you will succeed. Okay, great. That's how I want to resolve things. Talking. It's a game about talking. To equip new items, you will need to open the inventory screen. Okay. To remove your character's clothing now. Oh. It's going to be that kind of game, huh? Not bad. Put it back on. Oh, well. Shimmering orb of light. That's healing. Okay, so I'm supposed to put that here. Okay. 
staff. Yeah, what the fuck are we going to do with this? Whatever, I guess I'll equip it. Maybe I can give it to someone else in my party who can actually use it. Oh! I can look back at my old conversations. That's... Kind of fun. Plot helpers are people who help with the plot. Great. Okay. Let's get away from your creepy ass. Can we go this way? Not totally sure. Saving game. Okay, that probably means I'm on the right track. What is this? Probably something bad. Hey. Huh. It pauses before I even know what the thing I'm fighting is, but you know what? That sounded bad. Oh, a wolf. Okay. That sounded bad, so we're gonna do... that. Now we're gonna hit you with number one. Oh, that worked. Uh, now we're gonna do number two. Okay. Whoa, hey, hey, whoa, 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 okay. Not a problem. This mouse is completely useless to me. There is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. Yeah, thanks, you clown. Can't you turn back into a human and actually do something? Look. This is not... This is a different demon? All right, whatever. Let's see. Mm. So, you are the mortal, being hunted, and the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you, eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. This guy's pretty cool looking. It's like a porcupine dog. Are you here to help me? Mm. What kind of spirit are you? Why wait for scraps? Come get some now. I like that. I wish I thought I could survive that. What do you know about this demon? Ah, let's ask him about him. It's a demon. Maybe even more powerful than the one chasing after you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. Yeah, I need this I need this dude to shut up. Why are you called sloth? What are you? Again, I feel like I know the answer because he's the personification of laziness. I am a spirit of Sloth, yes, a creature of the Fade. Unlike yourself, mortals are ever the visitors here. Still, you serve your function. Only the mortals like yourself are truly annoying. Are you talking about dreamers? I think they did say that. Mortals you like myself? Aware, a mortal with power and will. The sort of creature that some spirits hunger for. I might be inclined for such a meal myself. It would be interesting to see the mortal world through your eyes live inside your form. But I am disinclined to begin such a struggle. <laughs> okay, so this guy is too 
lazy to want to fight me. Um, lucky me, that sounds sarcastic. Just try it again, not what I want. Although it might... Eh. Now that I know that he's doesn't want to attack me, it's a little more tempting. So you're a demon. Uh, whatever, I'll say that. As you mortals might term it. But not all demons are demons. Worry about the one hunting you. Well, can you help me? I'm you sure. You have a very nice staff. <laughs> Why would you need me? Go. Use your weapon, since you have earned it. <laughs> Be valorous. Mm. I appreciate this. Powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? Hiding doesn't solve anything. We need to face our fears. You could help me fight the demon. I thought you were here to help, but you're just a coward. None of these are what I wanted. I wanted... I like the idea of this guy turning into a bear. I wanted to pursue that. Oh, I guess the first one kind of means... Oh, I'm saying to Mouse that he shouldn't hide as a mouse and he should be a bear. Okay, so I'm gonna say that. We? I have faced more in this place than you can imagine. Fear is just one more thing. But you are right. Hiding doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's the fade. It changes you. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. For teaching... <laughs> It's so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. Yeah. You better teach this freaking guy. For us to have this conversation, then you don't do it. I will be pissed. Mouse wants to learn. Teach him. You can't just suggest something and change your mind. It's who's just talking to. All right. Well, I'm not going to give this guy sass, but I will. Be straightforward, teacher. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Okay, so I have seen a playthrough of this game. I'm pretty sure I remember what the riddles are, but it's also not difficult because... It's multiple choice, so I don't feel like I'm cheating if I do this. <laughs> Interesting to threaten to kill him again. Uh, Truly? Yeah. Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land what am i okay it's not the desert which doesn't have seeds it's not a boat that doesn't make sense the moon has seas but it doesn't have towns an idea or a dream i mean these non-physical things if they don't have sand that they don't have coasts either you know either you consider them to have both those things or neither of those things depending on how you look at it but it doesn't make sense for them to have one and not the other so the answer is a map mm -hmm. <laughs> correct uh, let's move on the second riddle i'm rarely touched but often held if you have wit You'll use me well. What am I? 
Okay, a handle doesn't require wit to use well. Uh, your temper, I mean, you do hold your temper, but it says rarely touched, and you can't touch a temper. It's not a physical thing. Uh, same thing with intelligence. You don't touch intelligence. And same thing with breath, really. It's not something you can touch. And also doesn't make sense with the wit part, really. And a sword? Using a sword is not really witty. Uh, so the answer is tongue. You don't touch your tongue too often. You hold your tongue metaphorically. And you can use it to be witty. Yes, your witty tongue. Mm, fair enough. Mm. One more try, shall we? Often will I spin the tale, never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. But alas, you won't remember me. What am I? And knowing Riddler is funny but obviously that's not the answer um so the only one of these things that you might not remember and I'm not actually 100% I'm not I don't ironically I don't totally remember this one but just logically the only one of these things that you won't that you might not remember is a dream so I'm pretty sure that must be it mm. you are correct rather apropos here in Fane no but you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction so I shall teach you my form now listen carefully like this am I a bear awesome it feels awesome Heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go then and uh, defeat your demon or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. Now, well, he's not a scary spiky bear, but at least he's going to be able to do something as opposed to what he was able to do before, which is nothing. Let's see what we got in the codex. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Sloth, demon. Okay, so it's pointing out that the sloth demon is not itself lazy, but it's sort of the feeds on your laziness and encourages it. And wolves, okay. I fought some spirit wolves. This is also talking about other types of wolves. Wolves can be corrupted and be bad. Okay, whatever. I mean, you can set up the tactics menu to determine how you guys are going to fight. I'm not going to do that right there. Friendly fire. Yep. I don't think any of my current spells have friendly fire. Okay, moving on. I just not did I go a total dead end? Can I get this map bigger? Yeah, I don't think I can go anywhere from there. Okay.
So where am I supposed to go? That's this dude. Whoop. Okay. Let's... This is a wolf. We'll hit it with that. Dude. Whoop. Clearly I'm doing it wrong. I think I need to target and then but oh, that's on cooldown. I can't do that. Oh, okay. First I hit the thing I want to do and then I target. Okay. As you said. Dude, am I not closer? Yes. Another bow lane. I don't want to disappear. It doesn't seem to tell me when I'm not within range, which is annoying. But okay, first I target the guy, then I determine what I want to do with him. But if I can't target him, it's just not going to work, and I just need to realize. That I have to move closer. And there is a spirit of rage. Oh, okay. I was told I need to come back here. This makes sense. So and this is also so not. Comes to me at last. Oh, this is the so God's first fight. Okay. Of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Some Chris Claremont shit. It's two against one. You really want to fight us both? Somehow I think he's okay with that. If I lose, the Templars will still cut you down. Then come and get me if you can. Eh. I feel like this is the spirit of rage. It's going to do it anyway. Oh, I shall. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all hmm. those wonderful meals we have shared. Okay, so. I mean, I did see this part. I knew Mouse was going to betray me. I forgot I'm the exact specifics now. of this. And soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Okay, so he had an arrangement with this guy. But now, rather than giving me to him, he's... I guess he didn't betray me. He's still lying with me. I guess he figures that if we both kill this guy... I guess probably his plan is we both kill this guy and then he kills me. That's gotta be what it is. But he's willing to work with me to kill this guy, which is fine. Just out of curiosity, what abilities does he have? Rage and slam. Which is a knockdown. Alright, I think actually he should slam. And I should... Winter's Grasp. We'll do that. Enough. Oh. Oh, gosh. Okay. There's a wisp over here. Okay. All right. So. Oh, the bear's dead. Oh, that's really bad. Wow, okay. This is really bad. As you say. It will be done. You have forced my hand! There 
a spirit of rage. Okay. That went tremendously badly. Wow. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Maybe there's a way I can talk him out of this? I did say let's fight. Amusing. Have you not told it of all arrangement, Mouse? We don't have an arrangement. Not anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. That didn't work out any better than the first time. Okay. Let's have him... Let's have him rage. And as for me, I am not going to be here. And then I'm going to winter sweet rasp. I'm sick of hiding. Alright, now I need to not get killed by these fuckers, which means I need to bring life. You did it! You actually did it! When That's you it? Came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you Okay, would I guess I just needed to kill the bear. And I'm on fire. Hopefully that's not a problem. It's all a little too easy. The ones you betrayed before me, what were their names? Sounds like your help was unusual. Why? Yeah, I guess I'm most interested in why did he help me, whereas he didn't help the previous people. Who he betrayed. You made me believe in you. You're a true mage. One of the few. The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail, like they tried with you. I regret my part in it. But you have shown me that there is hope. You can be so much more than you know. This is a good guy speech. Okay, so what is it that you think you can get from me? Anything to survive like an animal or worse? I understand necessity. What now? So two of them are kind of being mean to him, which he deserves because he betrayed other people. The third one is being nice to him. Let's try it. You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave. Again, I'm on fire. To get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. I'm starting to think the other demon was my test. That's a good thought. Let you in? I'll find mages away from the Templars. We'll get you out. Okay, so I guess... I guess I know that my circle would not agree to bring this guy in. So I would have to do something illegal to do that. The fact that it's illegal is fine with me, but I'm just not sure it's a good idea in the first place. Let you in. That was kind of a creepy way to put it. Let's see what that means. Back! 
Help me back. They killed me, right? Just like all who fail in here, they'll kill you too. Can't you feel the sword at your neck? They believe all magic evil, the Fade evil. Once you are here, you become what they fear. He's saying they're going to kill me if I survive this? I don't think that's true because then there wouldn't be any mages. Maybe they are right about some things. Like you. Were you ever really an apprentice? Yeah, let's, let's try to turn this thing back on him because he's trying to strong arm me, get me to do what he wants. Let's make it about him. What? Yes, of course. I mean, I think I was. Isn't that enough? It should be enough. For you? Maybe they are right about you. Ah, here we go. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Dude, I'm on, I'm on fire. Dude, how are you going to kill me? Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. I guess I ran into the fire. That was not my highlight of my battle. I'm lucky he let me win that battle because really the wisp killed me, but I had already killed right? the main guy, I guess. Say something, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a great visual of a Pink Floyd album cover. Jawan, which I assume is this guy's name. A demon! Die, demon! Where am I? Is this the fate? I'm going to be a dick and pretend that I'm about to attack this guy. That sounds like fun. It's me, Jowan. Calm down. Just try to relax. Dude. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. Can you see why I can't relax? All night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? Well, here's a hit with it's like I'm on fucking fire. We're friends, but don't ask this. You know I can't tell you. It was harrowing. Well, I'm a comedian. It was test of ability, that's all. That's not really true. It wasn't a test of ability. It was a test of, like, your... It was a psychological test. Stop pestering me. I assume... I don't remember anyone saying this, but I'm guessing that it is a secret and I can't tell him. So I'm going to say that. Huh, so much for friendship. I'll leave you alone then. And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. Yeah, you're not on fire, so you got that going for you. They'll summon you to the test when you're ready. Any day now, probably. I'm not going to say that because I don't know how good this guy is don't worry so much about it I passed my test that's all I care about they'll summon you when you're ready that's a nice vague answer because it might be never you have. sometimes I think they just don't want to test me maybe you're just not ready yet doesn't everyone go through a hiring what are you talking about you're just paranoid alright let's draw them out what are you talking about the tranquil never go through a harrowing you do the harrowing the right of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. I'm not going to get over the fact that I'm just calmly having a conversation with this guy while I'm on fire. You worry too much, it's annoying. What's the right of tranquility? They're not going to kill you, Jawan. What does this have to do with you? Well, it's true, they're not going to kill him. They might just put him in a situation where he dies. What's the right of tranquility? You've seen the tranquil around the tower. Like a Wayne who runs the stock room. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. Okay, so if you're a mage, it's either they... Either you're good and they let you become a mage. Or you're bad and you do the test and you die 
or they just kind of lobotomize you so you can't use your powers. Those are your options, it sounds like. I think you're reading too much into it. What did they do to him? I'll watch for that next time I talk to Wayne. Okay, let's get some more information. What did they do to him, even though I think he just said. He's been made tranquil. I don't know how they do it exactly, but you're cut off from the fade. It takes away your magic abilities, along with your dreams and emotions. Oh, okay. So, either you live or you, either you, you pass a test or you die or they make you not a mage anymore. How awful. It's an option for those who fear the hammering. No emotions. How's that possible? That doesn't sound too bad. Just keep asking questions so he keeps giving information. I feel like he explained how that's possible. I guess your emotions are tied to this fade, which is like the dream world, the emotional world, but... The fade is the dream realm. Maybe it's a side effect of being cut off from the fade. No dreams, no emotions. Apprentices can ask to be made tranquil if they fear the harrowing. But the circle also forces tranquility on those they feel are weak. And sometimes they force it upon apprentices they think might be too dangerous as mages. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. Okay, what for? He didn't tell me. About the harrowing, I'd guess, but you'd never know with Irving. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Maybe it's maybe he's got a bucket of fucking water. Leveling up, okay. All right. So I got all the cunning I'm going to need. So let's go magic. Alright, I can get another spell. Uh, let's, I think let's get some more damage. This looks like it has, this sounds good, but it looks like it has friendly fire. Although this one says friendly fire, possible fireball, and this one doesn't. Oh, it does. It does. I just missed it. Lightning, friendly, okay. I guess all my damage spells are going to be friendly fire, possible, which is, I guess, fair. Ooh, maybe I could just keep going with a spell that I already have. Ooh, this is like a perpetual. This is a heal that keeps going. That could be good. That could be good. What about this? What's the next frost weapon? Yeah, whatever. And then arcane shield. You know what? I'm going to keep going with that drain life spell. I like that idea. Now the next, the next one, they need 25 magic. Ah, but that's not even that. All right, brother. Did you hear anything? Is he all right? Is he okay? Why nope. do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He must be so talented. Someone sounds jealous. I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes. Like Wendell was. He throw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. 
Can I talk to you? No. Can't talk to any of these people. Okay, how do I open this thing up? Okay. I wonder when I'll get to go for my harrowing. It's a very strange place to put a bathroom. Very, very strange. Yep, chest over here. I thought I could use my controller. I'll have to figure that out. Anything else? Okay. A big asshole there. All right. It will That's be done. That. It's the same room I was just in, right? Yeah, that's fine. Keep going. I think this is all the same. Mm. Did you hear? Here no, this is new. Okay. I heard they suspect someone of dabbling in blood magic. Why would anyone do something so stupid? That's a death sentence. Because blood magic is powerful? You can bend up to your will and force demons to disappear. That's what I hear anyway. Alright. It's an unsubtle plot point drop there. Thought I saw something I could loot here. Yep. Private documents. Let's see what that is. A list of household accounts and expenditures over time. Useful for merchants negotiating contracts and wages. So I wonder, is this something that's going to come up at some point? Apprentice Cal, I guess I should put that on. No, it looks stupid. It's fine. Blank vellum. Am I going to scribe scrolls? I don't know. I don't know how anything works. I think that's about it for here. Unless there's stuff in here. Guess so. Uh, Alright, I can sell that. I wonder if there's a way to mark things for sale. Whoop. Inspect, equip, equip, destroy. Don't see it. Okay. Yes. Why do you say yes? You just opened the door. Just wandering around, looting everyone's shit. It's fine. More private documents are they? They're the same list of household expenditures. What am I supposed to do with these? Oh, new area. Okay. 
This is a little creepy. Obviously, not somewhere I'm supposed to be right now. I wonder if... <laughs> I need to load a new area for no reason. I wonder if I either can learn lock picking or have a lock picking spell. Is there a way to Ah oh, here we go, okay. Mm, doesn't really look like it. it looks like all my spells are like combat. I don't Yeah, I don't think I would have a spell like that. Okay. Oh, it's telling me. You just encounter a locked object. You might be able to pick the lock if your skill is high enough. Or you might need to locate a key through adventure negotiation. Alright, so the question is... Can I learn lock picking? It's going to be a skill. It's not going to be a spell. The fire with your will. Keep the flame steady. No. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's Guaranteed this guy's gonna fuck up. Injuries. Yep. But, but, but... Steady. It reacts to your emotions. If you panic, it will... No, no. Also, no. being Breathe. set on fire doesn't hurt. Uh, you know, in my experience, flint and tinder works just as well. Maybe we should start with that. Womp well, womp. Um, I can talk to you. But not really. I really should be concentrating on the flame. Bit late for that, bud. Bunch of books. Don't you remember what the Chantry says about magic? Magic must serve man and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Only boys can do magic. Hey! No, that's not what it means. It means that magic should be used to help people, but we can't use our magic to... to force people to do what we want. That's right. We should not abuse the gift the Maker has given us. Okay. I mean, we knew that that's... Oh! My power behind that spell, you would have been obliterated. I am not your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. Should you face a demon with your will wavering so, it would consume you. Is that what you want? <laughs> no. Then stand firm and know you can resist whatever I throw at you. Again. Maybe these sort of tests with fire and blast should be done outside rather than in the library where they presumably keep important books. Okay. Well, this looks... Hmm. What is this? Oh, it's another elf. Congratulations on your test. Yeah, thanks, dude. This looks like an important place I will not be able to get to. Nope. Yeah. Oh! I thought it said it was locked. Oh! Wait, okay, this Welcome is the... Welcome to the Circle stockroom of magical items. 
My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Well, he certainly is tranquil. He runs the stock room. Okay, I don't need anything. What is the stock room for? What can I buy here? I don't know if I have any money. Are you really a tranquil mage? I'll ask that last. I'll ask him what the stock room's for. The stock room stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? Okay, I guess I'll ask him now. I voluntarily submitted to the rite of tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. I mean, you don't have much of a choice. Don't you think what they did to you is cruel? What is it like not having emotions? You actually like being this way? I suppose that could be nice. Well, I guess the least judgmental thing I can say to them is, what is it like? I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. This is pretty sad. And now you're no longer a person, damn. What is becoming tranquil like? What happened during the rite of tran tranquility? Yeah, I'm curious what the actual rite is. I was ordered to never speak of it. I cannot go against the circle's wishes. Alright, so that's probably like the harrowing. Or at least I get the impression I'm not, I'm not supposed to talk about it. It is difficult to describe. I would perhaps compare it to being plunged into a pool of ice-cold water. Yep, sounds awesome. I guess I could insult him and tell him he's not a person. He would not react to it. But that seems like a dick move, so I'm not going to do that. Very well. Goodbye. Right, well, we can go in the storeroom. We can see with this. Good day to you. I guess what was I expecting? Today I shall be making more potions to send to the mages at Ostagar. Okay, so they can't cast magic anymore, but I guess they can do this alchemy type stuff to help out. Good day. You don't really mean that. You mean bad day. I've been here, right? Mm, that's not so the Chantry would do something before it came to that. Will they? They haven't done anything, and I've heard that the Aquatarians are starting to soften a little on the Libertarian position. Uh, I don't like position the Libertarian position. The support. Yet, as far as I know, most Aquatarians prefer to remain allied with the Loyalists. You can see why, don't you? Just think of what the Chantry would do if suddenly the Circles were petitioning for more independence or even a split. Won't be pretty. Ah, those short-sighted Libertarians. They'll get their way and take us all down with them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This guy's smart. Let's talk to him. Hello. Congratulations on your heroic Hello. Night. Good work. I'm a wizard, Harry. What were you talking about earlier? Tell me about the fraternities. No, I'm not about that life. What were you oh, talking about? Oh, the fraternities of the Enchanters. You probably haven't heard of them. No, he's going to tell me anyway. Tangled up in circle politics. More trouble than it's worth, really. Mm. All right. Fucking uh, tell oh, me about them. They're found in all circles throughout Thedas. Groups of enchanters who hold similar viewpoints, who band together to make their voices heard. The most influential fraternity are the Equitarians. They are moderates and believe in a code of conduct that all majors should adhere to. Then there are the Chantry apologists, the loyalists. The Chantry says something and they follow it to the letter. The Lucrosians just want to make money. And the isolationists would like us all to be hermits and live on an island. Then, of course, there are the Libertarians. They want more power for the Circle, more autonomy. Well, the Libertarians don't sound as bad as the real-life Libertarians. 
but probably the moderate position to me at least so far sounds right because the mages are dangerous it's just hmm. well it depends depends I guess what their exact position is there needs to be some regulation but maybe less so at least the libertarians are right that there should be less if not none and that's what they would say Ah, uh, mages have enough opposition from the outside without tearing our circles apart with infighting. But what can you do? An idealist, I see. Well, if you're going to change the world, you should get started immediately. Lots of world to cover. I appreciate your sarcasm, man. Alright, got some creatures. Rage demon. Alright, whatever. The fraternity of enchanters. Okay, I mean, he just... He just told me this. Libertarians publicly maintaining greater power for the circles but secretly advocating a complete split from the Chantry. I mean, that sounds fine in and of itself, as long as they replace it with something. All right, we'll have to see how this goes. The Equitarians may throw their support in with the Libertarians. That sounds like it would be good. Like, that position sounds like we're... I would like to be, at least so far, somewhere between those two. All right. What about you? Hello. Were you looking for something? What were you talking to the other mage about? Who are you? Just books? No, nothing. Who are you? I'm Njal, a mage just like you. Njal. I've yeah. seen you around, haven't I? I must have. All right. What were you talking to him about? Oh, nope. the fraternities. Yes, Groups of mages with a common agenda. <sighs> I think we should all be isolationists. Huh. Stay in some remote mountain town far away from the mundanes who hate us. <laughs> Why don't you go off then? That's exactly what I was about to say. If we won't, if that, if we run away, they'll never learn not to fear us. Mm. You know what? I'm going to say, why don't you go off then? Because I think his answer to that will be, it doesn't matter if they learn not to fear us because we won't have to care what they think. So it's more relevant to ask, why doesn't he do what he says I'd go hide should alone do? in the wilds if I could. But you know they just brand me an apostate and hunt me down. There is no leaving the circle. It's till death do us part. Romantic, isn't it? So then, how are their isolation? This, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If you leave the circle, you become an apostate. And the punishment for leaving is death. Pretty grim, huh? There must be mages who aren't part of a circle. I've heard of hedge witches who've managed to survive on their own, eluding the circle for a lifetime. But if the Templars discover them, well, you know what happens. Then there are stories about the Dalish elf clans having great magic. But who knows what's truth and what's fiction when it comes to the Dalish? Well, I have no idea what clan I'm from. All right. Have a good day. Yep. I need to loot whatever's behind you, dude. Let's see what that says. The four schools of magic entropy. That's like death magic. Okay, I yeah, I noticed that when I was looking at the spells. I don't know why it's telling me this now, but okay. Oh. Oh, 
I guess that's the book that I took out of the bookcase. Fair enough. And then spirit is... Mana stuff. I don't think I have any of those spells, but yeah, I saw some spells that increase your mana. And, or steal mana. Um, haven't had any problems running out, but I guess I will at some point. Primal. That seemed like it was like elemental damage stuff. Yeah, fire, ice, and lightning. Okay. A section of books appears to be missing. Okay, so that would be creation. Someone took those books. Interesting. Okay. Oh, there's creation. Okay. So it's probably blood magic. I ever heard them. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Whatever I heard them talking about before because they said it was bad. So they took those books out. Okay, that all makes sense. Moving on. They say you passed your harrowing. You must be happy. Yep. Of Happiness course. is fun. Mm. The circle is led by the first. That was weird. Okay. Um, the first enchanter is in charge. And then there's senior enchanters. And then mages who have passed their harrowing but have not taken apprentices. So that's me. All right, we're there. Ah, uh, here's a guy with the name. Do you need and something? he's an elf. If not, step back. You're in my light. Damn, dude. I'm sorry I will leave you alone. Your light. I'll stand where I please. I just want to greet another of my kind. I feel like this guy is not going to react well to let's be friends because we're both elves. So I'll say your light. I'm trying to study. Have some consideration for a fellow mage. Very well, I will leave you alone. I'm just happy to see another elf. You're just an apprentice, not a mage. I feel like none of, neither of those two is going to get a good reaction, but at this point, I'll, I'll try trying to connect with him by saying we're both elves. I don't think it's going to work. Are you surprised? We are probably more attuned to magic than humans are. Or at okay. least our ancestors he... must have been. With most of our history lost, I suppose I'll never really know. Maybe the Dalish elves would, but I'd never met one. Okay, so I'm not a Dalish elf. Uh, Alright, I'm not going to ask about them. What about lost history? That applies more to me. When elves were taken on as slaves, we lost most of our culture. Few of us even know our own language. I hear the Dalish try to keep the old ways alive. Must be easier for them outside human rule. Okay, so the Dalish elves are the real OGs. I wish I knew the old language. As do I. Perhaps one day I will have the chance to learn it. Are you from an alien niche? 
I'm from a farm outside High Ever. My mother worked as the cook's assistant there. I have no goddamn idea. Wow. What am I supposed to do? I don't want to tell him it's on your business. But I want to tell him something wrong. I guess I'll say I can't remember, even though that seems really strange. They must have taken you away when you were very young. I suppose it doesn't matter where we're from, does it? We're in the circle now. I suppose that makes us luckier than other elves. That's on a better life. We're reviled as mages as well. Hmm. Let's stick with the elf thing, because he seems to be into racial pride. I am satisfied knowing the humans who look down upon me will fear me instead. Yeah, but there I we go. Get back to my books. All right, thank you for talking with me. Good day. All right, that went well. He seemed like a dick, but... Once we started bonding over being elves, it worked out. Oh, uh, hello. I don't believe we've met. Are you new to the circle? I'm a new mage, bitch. Are you daft? Maybe this guy is getting old, has some sort of memory problem. So I'll just give this straightforward answer. I'm sorry. There are so many of you and I get confused. Not to mention these old eyes are starting to go. I have a quest for you. Find my glasses. Everyone makes mistakes. Starting, I'd say... <laughs> that think that's actually what we're doing. Starting, I'd say they've already gone. Maybe someone could help you fix them. Okay, glasses quest. You're too kind. I'm old and about to fall apart. Nothing in the world can fix that. Magic could. Not any magic I'd be caught doing. Interesting. Anyway, did you need something? I just want to talk. I'm not good at talking. Too much chatter makes my head throb. Don't you have lessons to get to? Shoo! That was strange. I guess I was probably supposed to say something other than what I said. Because otherwise I don't know what the point of that was. Oh well. Oh, excuse me. I didn't hear you come in. Just I'm sorry, wandering into everyone's room. Right now. I have to prepare the room before the Grey Warden is done at his meeting with Irving. Stealing their shit and having random small talk conversations. There's a Grey Warden here. What's a Grey Warden? Well, they explained that in the intro, but I guess my character doesn't know that. They are an order of brave and noble warriors sworn to give their lives to defeat the Darkspawn. You know, I almost became a Grey Warden once. Really? You're lying. I thought you said you were busy. <laughs> oh, that's harsh. Really? There were several of us chosen, though the Grey Wardens only wanted one recruit. Uh, they only ever have one mage, you see. I think they thought hmm. I was the best candidate, but I was young and foolish, and I said I wasn't interested. They picked someone else instead, and that was that. I've regretted it ever since. Oh, well, I should get back to my work. That's it, huh? Well, I guess the mages are so feared that they don't want to have more than one, even though they're very powerful. Thirteen... gold? I think I can just steal shit. No one seems to be complaining. I think that's a lot of money. Uh, there you are. 
You are to be moved out of the apprentice's dormitory. No, it's my money. These are to be your new quarters. The tranquil will move your belongings this afternoon. Go on, make yourself comfortable. Speaking of which, how much do I have? Thirteen. Oh, okay. So I literally had no money till just now. That's fair, I guess. All right, so I'll deal with that later. You seem to be standing around for no good reason. Greetings. I'm glad your harrowing went well. Who are you? I am Cullen. I was to strike the killing blow if you had uh, become an abomination. I am That's glad interesting. You but you would have if, if that, but you would have if it was called for. I don't all Templars like killing mages. Everyone has a job to do. How would you have known if I had become one? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I mean, I guess it's not necessary. I guess it's not necessarily visible. Let's find that. Honestly, I've never seen an abomination or been called on to slay one. So you could have made a mistake. You don't know what an abomination looks like. I'm sure someone would have told you. So you could have made a mistake. Let's get this guy a little in his own head about killing mages. Make him question Gregor a bit. would have guided me. Something must happen. But what if it's not obvious? Oop, could abominations I, be walking among us right now? I went the he went the opposite direction instead of wondering whether he should kill anybody he's wondering whether he shouldn't kill everybody I'm sure there are no abominations here you would best be on your guard then what type what kind of Templar is so easily trained okay at this point I'm trolling him this is still new to me maybe one day I'll be as dedicated and driven as Knight Commander Gregor or maybe you suck you must be busy perhaps we can talk another time well, that was an awkward, weird conversation. Some more monies. Yes. Private documents, household accounts and expenditures. What is this about? Can I talk to you? I wonder how the king's army fares at Ostagar. I've heard talk of a new blight. It seems unlikely. The cardinal rules of magic. Sounds important. What are those? There's no such thing as teleportation magic. I find that impossible to believe. You can't put your, you can't go into the Fae with your body. Also doubtful and you can't resurrect people. Okay, so this is a list of things that no one thinks you can do that you totally can't do. Good to know. Of course. Frost rock. Crushing a frost rock gives the user a small bonus to cold resistance. All right, well, situational, but elf root can chew it or can make potions well probably want to make potions deep mushroom spellcasters gain no benefit okay give that to someone else and you have a name oh it's you I hear Irving's looking for you 
Yeah, I'm gonna explore every single other thing oh, before. It's you. I hear Irving's looking for you. No, I think it told me that it's locked. All right. You have acquired a health poultice. I think I already did what it's telling me to do. Yeah, okay. I just gotta click that when I want to use it. Ah, this is infuriating. Another batch destroyed. Say, have you seen Owain? Is he in the stockroom? Yes, I just spoke to him. Oh, excellent. He wasn't there last I looked. I hope he still has some cinnabar lying around. When I asked last week, he said he was running out. Okay, get a Cinnabon from away. I don't think he told me that's a quest. But it clearly is. And I think he's at the beginning. I've totally lost track of where I am, what's happening, but I think he was at the beginning of this level. So that's fine. Did I talk to you? Who are you? I'd avoid Leora if I were you. She's been rather testy lately. Well, I know who. That's the person who told me to go who see knows? her. I'm not going to ask her why she's irritable. Women hate those kind of questions. Maybe I can talk to her now and get a little more? Oh, it's you. I hear Irving's looking for you. Very strange, okay. I've had a couple of conversations that have been very weird. Oh, perfect, okay. Oh, so this, this must be one tremendous circle, right? What? Oh, it's a book. Okay. It's like the actual Prophet Andraste is here, but no, it's her book. Okay. The founding of the Chantry. Okay, there was a king... He became the king, and his first act was to declare the Chantry as the established religion. And they chose a pope. Great, thrilling. What about this? All the lore, you motherfuckers. All right, this sounds important because it's going to tell me about the prophet. This is like. All right, tiny fishing village. Took a child as a slave. She grows up from nothing. She asked God to release her people from slavery. And she rallied the troops. Okay, so she's like a Joan of Arc where she is convincing people that she's on a mission from God and she's able to like raise up an army based on that. And all right, so it's like a combination of Joan of Arc and Rome. So she's raising up the people, and the emperor doesn't like the fact that she's 
now established power due to the fact that she's established this new like religion and yeah again okay okay again Jesus she's betrayed by one of her followers and burdened is at stake so definitely John the Mark Okay, so it was her husband who was like the Judas who betrayed her. Okay. Okay, so that's what it is. She is Jesus. Her husband is Judas. But she's also Joan of Arc. Got it. It's kind of a cool combination. I like this. Of course. The blight. This is a chant. Oh, okay. This thing over here, this over here, this is. This was the first thing we saw in the game. So, yeah, this seems to have to do with the fact that the mages tried to mess with stuff they shouldn't and they cause the dark spawn to happen yeah yeah okay the maker well that sounds important the maker okay this sounds like yeah this is genesis there's nothing and then he made man in his image And then people made a city. And okay, it's interesting. It's not like Eden in the sense that they did anything wrong, it sounds like, but they just kind of didn't do anything at all. And God was kind of like, you seem like meaningless like not that you betrayed not that you eat from the forbidden tree but you're just kind of not doing anything that's useful Golden City. Right, right. So again, like Eden, they were cast out, or I guess not the same. I guess, okay, it's not exactly the same because he made these first people who we don't really know what they were, but they weren't humans. They were something else. And he didn't like them. Uh, and this all was in the fade. So then he made Earth, and he said, okay, we're going to make humans, and we're going to put them in the Earth, and maybe they'll be better. So it's not like he, in the sense that humanity is being cast out from one place to another. It's like, First, we had one group of people in paradise, and then we have another group of people on Earth. I shouldn't say people, but oh, this looks like where we want to end up eventually. So let's not do that yet. This looks like somewhere I can't go. I can't even talk to this guy. Third floor is off limits till dinner time. First enchanter's orders. Okay, so let me go to Owain and tell him that the other guy needs a Cinnabon. Did I miss it? 
why is there an X here? That's a guy who was going to be a Grey Warden, but he passed it up. This is my room. I forget what that was. That's the big room with the woman who I can't do some mad about. Oh, there we go. Here we go. And this is back down. Okay, I'm guessing this makes... This is part of the big... This is part of the big circle. Yeah, okay, okay. So Wayne's kind of in the middle of everything, and there's a big circle running around the circumference. Okay. Welcome to the circle stockroom of magical items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Need some Cinnabons, some uh, Ant's pretzels. The stockroom is not a shop. Your mentor should have clarified this. The stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? Hmm. Very well. Goodbye. Well. I have not seen the option to talk to this Welcome guy. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom about, of Magical Items. About my the Cinnabon. My name Cinnabon. is Owain. How may I assist you? So then why did I have that? Do you find my greeting disagreeable? I apologize, but I am not inclined to change it. Do you need something? So why did I have that conversation with that guy if I'm not supposed to do anything about it? That's what the stockroom is for. I think he's going to say the same thing he just said. The stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? Very well. Goodbye. Very strange. Okay, I'm going to talk to the people who I'm supposed to talk to. And then I'm probably going to call it there. But let's at least have that conversation so we know what's, what the next stage is. I wonder what these X's on the map mean. I wonder where I am. I wonder a lot of things. Like here's one X when I'm facing this way. I don't see anything special though. Like what is this? Why is there an X there? What is this dude doing? Good day. I guess he wants to keep his place clean because he wants to impress the Grey Warden who is here. Was it the last room? Probably. Yeah, okay. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, oh, so this please. Guy's... 
Irving, someone is here to see you. This guy's sticking up for the mages a bit. He's not a total stooge. You sent for me. Hello, first enchanter. What's going on? Uh, these are not super exciting options. I guess I'll say you sent for me. Ah, if it isn't our new brother in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is he. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this. It's interesting, later. though, that these of two course. guys seem to be well, uh, getting along during my hair well, ring and the others. Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. Now there's some tension. Is this why you had me summoned? Pleased to meet you. A Grey Warden in the tower. What's he doing here? I guess I'll be a normal person and say pleased to meet you. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the king's army at Ostagar. Yep. That's interesting. That's interesting because the other guy said there could only be one mage. This guy said mages. Wonder what changed. That's all you want to tell me. Why? Who are we fighting? Let's ask simple questions. Mages are uniquely equipped to combat Darkspawn. So then why would you only have one of them at a time? Or maybe they just told that guy that because he... They want to let him down easy. I bet that's what it was, actually. The power you mages wield is an asset to any army. Your spells are very effective against large groups of mindless darkspawn. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry the poor lad with talk of blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for him. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of magi. Thank you, First Enchanter. My phylactery, my leash, you mean. That's it, after throwing me to the wolves, all right. Let's find out what a phylactery is. I kind of know this from remember, but D &D. blood was taken from you when you first came to mm -hmm. us. This blood is preserved within a phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. Thank you. I'm glad to be a part of the circle. That's all I get. What happens now? Let's ask what happens now. Patience, child. You have been through an ordeal. Let us not rush things. It goes without saying that you shall not okay, discuss yeah. the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest or study in the library. The day is yours. Yeah, I mean, they, they implied that, but I think that's the first thing they officially said. I'm not supposed to talk about it. Uh, I prefer to talk now. <laughs> Impetuousness is ever the province of youth, I see. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? It would be my pleasure. Just don't get not know where his quarters are. <laughs> if I must, okay, it would be my pleasure. I guess this dude doesn't want to talk to me. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Alright. Let's check our codex characters Duncan is a Grey Warden he's the chief Grey Warden so he's a big deal 
Gregor, we knew this guy. He's the Templar. Irving, he's the mage. So the Templar's job is to keep tabs on the mages. The mages kind of accept that, but this guy Irving still wants him to have some freedom. Okay. Irving seems like a reasonable guy. Ooh. My staff and magic helmet. Mage robes. Spare them what I have. Apprentice Rhodes. Apprentice Cal. Ring of Studi. Put that on. No helmet robe. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Do I need to equip that? Probably not, right? Okay, I have a mod that um removes my helmet during cutscenes. I guess it's probably already working. But I have to have that thing in the my inventory, I guess, for the mod. It must be working because I haven't seen. Seems like I don't have this dumb thing on in my cutscenes. Okay. Oh, map. Oh, it's still kind of small. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Okay. So X just means, oh, here's a guy, I think. Okay, so X just means sort of generically, it's a place of interest. This arrow here might mean there's something, actually, someone I haven't, actually spoken to something I actually need to do there okay glad I found that Skill. Oh, skills. Okay, let me see. Steal. Uh, stealing. Okay. Oh, but this is like pickpocketing. Trap making. Survival. Herbalism. That would probably be good. Poison making. Uh, combat training. Okay, yeah, I don't see lock picking. I could I could steal I could pickpocket stuff from people, which might be fun. I'll have enough cunning to do it. Survival. Look, it might be useful in terms of a combat, in terms of not being surprised. But I probably want to do herbalism first. That's probably going to be something I can do that no one else in my party can do. Along with the coercion. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll worry about that later. Bring down the dialogue a little bit. And I want to see if I can get the um, get the PS4 controller working. Okay, uh, great game. We knew that it was. And it is. Oh. All right. But for now, ooh, new spell. Oh, it's the death magic. Oh, okay. I thought it might replace the other spell, but it's a separate thing. 
I guess it makes sense because it's like an ongoing. It's an ongoing thing. Cost 45 upkeep. Do I know what that means? Do I know how much mana I have? One fifty six. And then my arcane bolt costs fifteen, I think. Okay. I think I kinda get it. But I need to get better like targeting things in battle. I'm not doing anything a lot of time because I'm not targeting anything. Uh Pretty good graphics for a game as old as this is. The people don't necessarily look super great, but they don't look terrible, and this environment isn't bad. All right. Well, anyway, that'll be it for now, but I will watch this back and I'll see if all the settings are good and stuff, and we shall continue. Thank you very much.